Hello everybody, welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. We are back at Silver Glen, um, after our little debacle into the mines, we have to turn in some quests, so this might take a few minutes. So I dare say this episode will just be turning these in and getting the reaction of the particular NPCs, like Brandon. Oh no, um, let's discuss your retirement plan. So you found the Tenebrium. A grand feeling to fest at the King of Trolls, isn't it? Huh? Hand the blighted stuff over and you'll be privy to every damnable secret this place has been hoarding. Okay. Give Brandon the Tenebrium. Right. I'm very interested to learn what Brandon has to share. Six alive. I knew I could count on you. Now it's my turn to make good. I'll be happy to share with you the not so little secret of these mines. Tell me the secrets of Tenebrim in Silver Glen. For starters, Source Hunter, you already know that this is a volatile material. What you might not know is that there are ways to handle it that can diminish or even prevent its negative effects. All it takes is a little know-how. Here. I'll show you. And if you're ever looking for a full cure, I'd recommend visiting the Immaculate Chapel. Nod your way through their little sermons and they'll give you access to a special mineral that can heal even the worst cases of rot. Now that there's a handy bit of information. But the real secret is yet to come, my friend. Lardens, the bloke from the Mining Guild, ordered dozens of men to extract tenebrium from these here mines, knowing full well that doing so was as good as sending them to their deaths. Beasts of burden, he called the miners, and said that the guild would turn a profit quicker if the men mined the stuff liggity split before the rot ran its full course. I've got a letter here from the Mining Guild to Mr. Lardens himself, proving everything I've claimed. You can have the damn thing. I've sat on this secret long enough. There, it's yours. Uh, okay. I'm no man to refuse a source hunter. Ask away, friend. I don't think there's anything else we need to know. And then, the had had the smallest modicum of patience, either to teach them men how to safely handle Tenebrium or to wait for the goblins to show up. Ben's death could have been easily avoided. Uh, what do you know about the immaculates? That circus rolled into town shortly after the Tenebrium was discovered. Some freak woman with a freak gemstone managed to cure rot by some strange magic and convinced most of the locals that she were the conduit of the goddess or some such tripe. Uh, what can you tell me about Tenebrium? That's a double-edged sword, didn't it? I can get the fortune of a lifetime for it, but you won't have time to spend it all before the rot gets you. And what do you know about the rot? Ah, those men. The first to perish, never the wiser until it was too late. There's a bit of guilt I'll take to me grave indeed. The Overseer's supposed to be something of a protector, if not a friend, you know? And what are the goblins Lance doing? Lance actually invited those bug-eyed creeps here himself. The miners were dropping like flies, and goblins had more of a natural tolerance for the work. Little did we know they'd overrun the place in a matter of months. Okay, thank you. I'll take my leave. Well, I'm off with little more to me name than a small fortune here in me pocket. <laughs> Uh, farewell to you, Source Hunter. And good riddance, Silver Glen. New ability, Tenebrium. We are immune. Log updated. Naked Truth. Troll's Bounty's finished. Right, now before we go and tell the rest of the town about what Lawrence has been up to, I need to get rid of the, uh, the Goblin quest. Hello again, Your Grace. Let's discuss your troubles in the mines. What? The only brilliant solution you could come up with was to blow up the entire mine. Keep your filthy goblin's head. What do you survive for such garbage now that the entire mine is in rubble? You've ruined each and all of us, you low-down, backbiting, rat-faced nincompoop. What'll I tell the men? Better yet, what'll you tell them? Oh, be gone from my sight. <laughs> Ooh, you really should not have spoke to me like that. Your 
this. I... Oh, damn it all to hell in a handbasket. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah, so the jig's up, eh? So what if I let those back asswards yokels mine the tenebrium? I paid them well enough. And if they got sick, it's no one's fault but their own. I'll tell you what. You keep this little factoid between us, and I'll make it worth your while. How's 1,000 gold sound? That's quite a heap of cash for nothing more than silence. Oof. Lawrence's crimes amount to murder and almost money can absolve him of responsibility. This free market is in dire need of some regulation. Well, be a saint if you like. Not all of us have that luxury. Business is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. I wouldn't expect you to have learned much about reality at your little Source Hunter Academy. Okay, I really don't care that you've lost all that uh, attitude because you're not going to be alive much longer. Uh, oh god, here we go. What does Bear Daughter want? It is not easy to understand this, Lawrence. He had food, clothes and gold enough. How could he have let others die so that he could gain more? In Home Forest, we kill to eat or to protect ourselves. What reason could Lawrence have to take more than he could use, and to let his fellows die for it too? His actions were as good as murder. He has no place among civilized men. Cut it away like brush for a fire. Use it to fuel the pyres of those he as good as killed. Okay, I'm hoping that uh, I can. Yes. I... I can feel the goddess. <laughs> How can I help you, my friend? Um, I'll tell you what we can do. I want to check on something, if I possibly can. Traits, talents. No, it doesn't appear I can. I was wondering if we could see. If she liked us or not, but not to worry. I'm sure we'll find out at some later date. Right, we need to get Lawrence sorted out now. Do a salutoin, Hunter. What can I do for you? Uh, you need help, Prue. Lawrence knowingly encouraged him on his handle tenebrium. So? You are bringing results? Uh, let's show the incriminating Lawrence. Let At her. At least Nadia will know exactly why her husband died and who's to blame. You have letter from Mining Guild? Let me looking. They tell... They tell Lawrence to keep mining tenebrium. They say they make him rich if he comply. The filthy pig. Mi voyagos al sia patrino domo sur la dorso del camelo cae riproci si forte. I knew he was guilty. I knew he was to blame for Ben's death. Oh, I'll strangle him with my own two hands. Uh, okay, I'll take my Seth, leave. Come quickly. Watch shop while mother put ghost of father to peace. Let us watch what happens here to Lawrence, the scumbag. You go and tell him, Nadia. Go and get him. So, Mr. Lawrence, it's true then. May Zalmoxis dry her socks on your mother's gravestone. No, <laughs> oh, what are you going on about, you crazy old witch? I know for truth, you bring workers to mines to extract tenebrium, and that you do it knowing they will die of rot. You greedy man. Malsata rapo. You kill them to fill your own pocket. <laughs> By the way, she's looking at me and <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> Look, you, you're confused. <coughs> you're ranting. Clearly, there's no reasoning with you, so what say you take this rather expensive token and agree to keep your little 
delusions to yourself. One thousand gold for my husband's death. Tell me, Source Hunter, does this man bring me for an idiot? I would be appreciating your advice before I strangle him right here and now. Uh, Nadi should shout Lawrence's guilt from the rooftops. He don't deserve better after what he's done. That's right. I'm sure all these miners will have more than a little to say to the man who effectively killed their comrades. Ah, yes. That is spirit. Too bad for you, Mr. Lawrence, high priest of illiterati. Remember, my darling Ben, when mob rips you to pieces. Wait. This is between you and me. There's no need to involve the rest of those cretins. They'll believe anything. Wait, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Nadia. Wait. <laughs> Friends, miners, listen close. You already knew this Lawrence was greasy snake. But you now I have proof of his crime. I know none forget so many who die of rot when Tenebrium was Close found. Your ears but do you know words, that brothers. Lawrence knew Friends. of rot and sent you and your brothers to mine anyway? Friends. He sent my husband to his death, and he sent you to yours. Make the monster pay. Show oh, Santa, please, you're a compassionate soul, are you not? You wouldn't let these pick-swinging apes swarm me, would you? I am a man of many mistakes and even more regrets, but surely no one deserves to be ripped to shreds by the masses. I knew so the care couldn't be Brat, trusted. What you think of him? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. Perhaps Lawrence will get a glimpse of empathy for the innumerable miners he sent to early deaths. No, please, Source Hunter, you can't let them do this. Oh, what a fool I was to execute the guild's demands. It's the guild you ought to be after, not me. I'm merely the messenger. Please, please. Yes, yeah, scumbag. Oh, hear that, Lawrence? That's the sound of the scales of justice tipping in our favor. I'd suggest you say your prayers, but I doubt you've a soul left to pray for. Trial, verdict, and execution in a matter of minutes. It seems these immaculates have more on their minds than due process. Uh, yes. What was that I just picked up? Oh, all right, okay. Nothing exceptional. We've still got Drexus's head, though. I'll have to try and sell that, or maybe we can get to the goblin camp and give that to the leader. <laughs> we'll see. Right, what have we got here now? Uh, Trolls Bounty, Goblin Trouble, Naked Truth... We discovered Leandra's papers, they revealed dark plans, intense emotional turmoil. You believe in the God, baby. Okay, let's head back to the end of time. Check with Leandra first What's of all. What's the word, Source Hunter? You must venture into the inner sanctum of one of the sacred immaculate temples in Lukula Forest. Leandra has hidden it well, but within its deepest depths you'll find a hidden library. What's inside I cannot say, but I know something of great value to her is kept within. How can I find this hidden library? The Immaculates are no invention of Leandra's, though styling herself as its so-called conduit is, I must say, rather clever. They were an ancient religious group, countless sorcerers among them numbering hundreds of thousands before the death of Bracchus Rex and the abolishment of Source. Leandra's little cult has retaken this Immaculate banner and repurposed the ancient Immaculate temples after their own fashion. The temple you must find is particularly well hidden, 
You'll have to become an Immaculate yourself in order to gain access to it. If the time comes that you must reveal yourself as imposters, you'll have many an impassioned foe to face. You'll know you've reached the right place when you meet the priest who calls himself Mangoth. He protects the blood. It is he who you must ultimately defeat. We need to learn more about Leandra's operations. I've seen mere flashes of what she's planning, but her enterprise is growing at an alarming rate. If we want to learn more about this cult, the so-called Immaculates, you'll have to join their ranks and explore as deeply into their elite as possible. Okay. Log updated. Infiltrate the uh, Immaculates. Lowick told us we move past the Immaculate Initiation by following a path in the west of Silverglen. So we need to go to Silver Glen. Oh, rat. Have I got that? Just... Brandon's the best overseer there ever was. No one's a more eager miner than he is. Wonder how he avoided catching rot, though. <laughs> okay, a bit late for that. Oh, I've already done that fight. Wait! Oh! Stop! Can it be? A source hunter? Oh, my fortune! My fate! I am saved! They're coming for me! They know I've escaped! And they won't stop until they've sliced me in two and corrupted my corpse with darkness! Who is coming for you, exactly? The cult! The dark heart of the Immaculates! The corrupted few who lead their trusting converts upon a path paved with source. Well, they won't stop until they've silenced me. And worse... Who are you? I am Samid. Once a humble miner. Once a devoted immaculate. Now a refugee in flight from both religion and home. Uh, tell me about the immaculates. I once counted myself among their most faithful. Such a devotee to the immaculate way was I that I rose swiftly through its ranks. Became privy to each of the esoteric rituals of the Immaculate Method. But in time, I... I discovered too much. When I was granted access to Sacred Stone, the most protected Immaculate Village, I watched with horror as our enlightened leaders unabashedly performed darkest source magic. I immediately reported this corruption to our highest priest, Lady Attenborough. I'll never forget her laugh. Mirthless and savage. She was one of them. A sorcerer! I escaped that terrible place as quickly as my feet could fly. And now, you must do what I cannot. You must end the darkness that has consumed the Immaculate Way. The source that corrupts it. You measured a protected village sacred stone. Where can I find it? To gain access to that nest of vipers, you'll have to become one of us. One of them, that is. Speak to Loik, the Immaculate Abbot of the village to the north. Silver Glen, it's called. He'll be only too eager to gain another convert, and only the initiated are granted access to Sacred Stone. Okay, I don't need to know where the White Witch is. I've already found her. Okay, I'll take my leave. Source Hunter, in the name of the innocent Immaculates, those unaware of the fanged head that leads them, I pray you will expose the truth. So many of us sought only spirit, we had no idea what we'd be asked to sacrifice in return. Oh, kid old mate, on your way. Uh, right, wild woman renegade. Oh, there's that, yeah, called Attenborough, okay. Source Hunter's Journey. Right. Auto save. That's always a good sign. Oh, damn it, I didn't get that stuff out of that box, did I? <laughs> Never mind. Okay, talk to you. In her holy name, halt! You shall not tread upon this immaculate road! 
Why do you refuse me passage? Has rot taken your ears? I say this is an immaculate road. Only those blessed with Loic's sanction may pass here. Okay, I've passed the test of knowledge and I've earned Loic's blessing. Ah, you have passed the test. That means you must be on your way to the true trial. Congratulations, Initiate. You are more than welcome to proceed. Thank you very much. Be on your guard, though, for vicious creatures crawl upon the sands. Find the Skull of Stone, but don't stray any further unless you wish to face foes greater than those that haunt most dreamscapes. Do you think I'm strong enough to survive this passage? It pleases me to suppose that one of your strength and ability may soon join our ranks. Future friend. Yeah, I believe you stand a fair chance against the trials that await you. Thank you. I'll take my leave. And check all these crates that you've got. Damn it. Nothing. Hello. Some shrooms. I suppose we'll be spared the troll toll this time round. Better a toll than being spun into dinner. Uh, let's talk to the animal. Oh! oh my, oh my, oh my. You can speak. Oh dear. Oh gracious. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. This is your luckiest day of days. I'm going to put in a little save here. <laughs> put the flush from your hand. Psst. Friend, you must help me. Oh goodness. Oh dear, oh, oh, I beg you. This goblin you see before me, my so-called master, is a cruel and ruthless beast. This may be my only chance to seek help, so I won't waste a moment. Uh, 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 friend, I if you have a shred of decency in your bones, you must kill this goblin. Please, I must be free. And if you'll help me, I'll help you. I know all there is to know about the goblins of Lucula, and I know their greatest weakness too. A, a, a secret I'll happily share once I'm free from this goblin's claws. Please, kill the brute. Um. Yes, the savage would be honored to free you from this goblin's tyranny. Cruelty befits the cruel, I say. Let's lay the fiend low. A thousand uh, 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 thanks to you, friend. You start with his eyes, I say. I've talked to this goblin before, and he really is a complete air hole. Let's I'll talk to him. Rise, human scum. Yes. I wouldn't make an enemy of cat if you're not interested. You're uh, I'm not giving you anything. My friend, did you hear? That man said we must find this village sick. Okay. Come here, hurry up before he gets over here. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to kill him in front of the Immaculates, right. We'll call that a wasted uh, opportunity, shall we say. I should have just got one of my other characters and nuked him. Tempest I need of dust. hastening! What happened? Why are you all moving so fast? These high plains seem a far more treacherous landscape. Days they drag their souls through fields of dust. What are you going on about? I think the something dust isn't right here. It could be an amber. Hmm. Corpse. And into the trial we go. Whoops. There we go. And that's where we'll leave it for this episode, folks. So next one we will do the trials of the Immaculates. 
and go through this area. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget, if you like the videos, please leave a like and subscribe. This is Aubrey, signing off.